Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our Keith Thurman versus Leonard Boondu recap. Keith one time, Thurman is currently undefeated. I think we all expected a knockout in this match for as good as Boondu is. We knew he was going to be a tough match leading into it despite the talent that Keith Thurman brings to the table. Unfortunately, no knockout in the match. I'm RJ, FPS Kyle. He yo, got yo. the win, but a little disappointing for us here. I don't know if it's really disappointing. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that put money on Keith Thurman to knock him out because a lot of people were feeling, hey, he's going against a 40-year-old. Mm -hmm. Probably going to knock him out with his, you know, the power punches that he has. Um, but, you know, Bundo is an experienced fighter. The guy's undefeated for a reason. Uh, he knows how to last the whole fight. And you saw the whole time he was fighting that he was pretty much just trying not to get knocked out by Keith Thurman. Uh, you know, the mix-up style, he can go from left to right. You mm -hmm. can tell that kind of threw... Keith Thurman off a little bit. I had, Thurman had a little success earlier in the fight, knocked him down uh, on a great left hook. Um, but after that point, I think Bundu kind of realized what he could do to not get knocked out again and uh, was, I guess, content with losing every single round because that's pretty much what happened except for one. Which, I mean, we got to point out here, Bundu is undefeated, of course, until this match, that is. Right. So, European you'd, champion. You'd have to think that, I'm sure. Keith Thurman had a lot of respect for him coming into the match. I still felt that Thurman was trying to get that knockout early. And at a certain point, he knew that. Bundu was being great defensively, and it probably wasn't going to happen. Well, I mean, I think I think Keith Thurman played it right. He knew that Bundu was going to try to, to kind of outsmart him in a way of, of using his experience to know, hey, I know how young guys want to try to knock me out. Mm -hmm. and that's probably how Bundu's had some success in the, in the past so, I mean, you saw Keith Thurman kind of go into like two to maybe three punch combos. Didn't really extend anything past that because uh, he knew that's when Bundo was going to try to counteract on him. Uh, Keith Thurman did a great job all night of, uh, of dodging every Bundo's uh, attempt to try to hit him. Yeah. I think the biggest thing that Bundo did to him was headbutt him. Um, he had a couple shots on him at, at, the, end of the, uh, at the end of the fight, but... Uh, for the most part, Keith Thurman was just, you know, kind of controlling the whole match. Was in full in full control the very whole time. Very tactical, I noticed. Very very smart fight, and yeah, it's not going to get the fans all riled up. It's not the, it's not the, uh, you know, the one that's going to sell, um, you know, per se for a fight. But to get a victory against a guy that's been in for a long time, that's undefeated. That, that's a big, that's a big, you know, uh, victory for Thurman. It's something you should definitely be proud of. And uh, hopefully now, maybe because he didn't knock him out, maybe some of these other big fighters that are dodging Keith Thurman <laughs> ducking. might actually, yeah, ducking him, uh, hmm. might actually try and set a matchup against him, um, you know, because they might think they have a chance against him. That would be but, nice. Uh, I think they they're uh, they'd be mistaken thinking that. I mean, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, just to kind of set the backdrop for you guys, uh, we have HQ based out of Tampa Bay. Not too far away from where Keith Thurman grew up. He's one of the uh, next up-and-coming boxers here in the area. Where we have a pretty good history of some uh, very good boxers, of course, Olympians. Yep. And uh, we're watching the main event right now. It definitely looks like Amir Khan has got this one wrapped up against Alexander. It almost seems like an identical match of the thurman Bundu fight. Uh, These guys Amir a little bit crazier, I'd have to say. A little, a little crazier, because yeah. actually uh, Devin Alexander is actually fighting back. <laughs> like I said, yeah. and Bundu just tried to do everything he could to not get knocked out. Mm -hmm. And uh, did a great job of defending a lot of uh, Keith Thurman's uh, attacks that he put on him. But, I mean, yeah... Keith Thurman owned this whole fight. The score sheet had Keith Thurman clearly Destroyed. the winner every single round, even though I think one round he lost. Now, he got that big hit in on the first round, of course, mm -hmm. bringing uh, Bundu down to his knees. I think that had a lot to do with the, the going away victory. But a lot of people were disappointed that we didn't get to see that one-time knockout. We actually heard a lot of boos towards Keith Thurman for the first time, I think, ever. Uh, most people, he, he's kind of one of those sleeper, underrated, up-and-coming guys. And uh, a lot of people were disappointed. What did you take I out th of that? I think I know why a lot of those people were I think a lot of those people <laughs> there probably kind of knew who Keith Thurman was. But they saw the odds. And, I mean, the odds of, of Keith Thurman winning this fight were absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Pretty much the only thing that was bet-worthy was the bet that Keith Thurman was going to win by knockout, TKO, or disqualification, um, which that had, that had the best payout. I think a lot of those people probably put money on that, thinking that was definitely going to happen. Yeah. It did not happen. They lose money. They boom for no reason. And uh, 
That ain't nothing to worry about, man. He's got a strong following. He's one of the best fighters right now in boxing, and uh, he's so young. He's still got so much to uh, to show to everyone uh, how good he really is. I will point out that it was pretty noticeable. Keith did not use as many lefts as he normally does. He he was pretty adamant after the match in the interview that he was still trying to throw him out there, but it was mostly about Bundu's ability to kind of get back. He, he was actually showing everybody in the interview right after the match. It was awesome. It broke but it uh, that, that kind of kept... Keith Thurman's devastating left out of the match, which could be attributed to a recent shoulder. Uh, it, it wasn't so much a surgery. as basically Therapy. he was just kind of, yeah, exactly, rehabbing it. And it might not be back to 100%. He still was the much better fighter, and this is an up-and-coming star. So it's just good to see him come out with the, the obvious win. Yeah. And like you said, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe some of these other fighters that he's saying has been ducking him actually give him a shot. Uh, props to Boondu. I thought it was a great fight. Yeah, that's what you got to love about Keith Thurman, man. This guy, you know, he's trying to bring boxing back to what it was. Uh, the best fighters fighting the best fighters. Not making it be about money and how who's going to draw and picking fights. You, know, you can tell he really just wants to beat everybody. He wants to show that he's a better boxer than everybody in mm -hmm. boxing. And uh, hopefully he'll get his chance. Maybe uh, May Mayweather will man up one day and uh, finally give him that opportunity. He came into this match very confident, that was for sure. Yeah. You see him kind of waver a little bit during the match afterwards. He seemed to be fairly confident, but it, it's got to hurt your ego a little bit. Despite getting the victory against somebody undefeated, I think, I mean, Kyle, we both, we actually have hung out with uh, Keith Thurman, and mm -hmm. we will say he definitely pays attention to knockouts. You know he wants to do that, so it's going to hurt him a little bit not getting that, but he knows... He got the obvious win. His trainer the whole time was saying, you got this, just keep it up. But Keith, I think he wanted the knockout. Look for him to hopefully get it in the next fight. Yeah, like I said, we can attribute that to Bundu. His, his style was a little different than Keith Thurman was used to seeing. It was. And, uh, but like Keith Thurman said, man, this was a great learning experience for him. Uh, he's going to take away a lot, take a lot from this. If any guy tries to flip it up on him, he's going to have ways that he, he knows how to beat him. Uh, hey, his boxing's not always about knocking everyone out, and uh, he's going to learn that. There's some guys that are going to go the distance. These guys fact are good. Is, fact is, you're landing more punches, you're controlling the fight. That's what matters, and uh, that's just how Keith Thurman's going to become a better fighter. When he really can control a fight and then just come through with that left hook and just knock somebody out, uh, that's a dangerous combo. And um, yeah, the sky, the sky's the limit on, on the, the potential of Keith Thurman in boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we've heard... A lot of smack talk from Thurman in the direction of, of course, Floyd Money Mayweather recently. Mm -hmm. Will that maybe actually come to fruition at some point? We really want to see it. I know a lot of true boxing fans really want to see it, but it's no secret. A lot of people are scared to fight Thurman. It, rightfully so. This is a fucking tough match here. You do not want to get knocked out by this guy who's known as one of the knockout kings of the current world of wrestling. It'll boxing. be interesting to see. Oh, sorry, boxing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see where he can go from here. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say about this match? Congratulations to Keith Thurman once again. It was it was pretty tough for us to hear the booze coming his way. Hopefully that motivates him. Uh, congratulations to Amir Khan as a little bit of a disappointing show in here by Devin Alexander in the main event. But uh, hey, Keith Thurman one time. Keith Thurman. The victor once again, and no we've surprise. Seen, we've seen we've seen the power of Keith Thurman. Now we're seeing the strategy of Keith Thurman and being able to be disciplined enough to stick to that to the whole fight. Like I said it's not dangerous combo. Mayweather man up, give the kid an <laughs> opportunity. If you are the best, prove it. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you're not too familiar with Keith Thurman, we definitely recommend that you check him out. He's Highlights. a really fun guy to be a fan of, that's for sure. And trust me, he's going to be a household name soon enough. I know boxing isn't exactly in its prime, but if Mayweather mans up and fights this kid, maybe, just maybe, it will be back to that glorious status from back in the day. Tyson, man, the whole crew there, of course going all the way back to Muhammad Ali. We need to see that kind of stuff again. Uh, I think people are getting a little over UFC. I think boxing has an opportunity no to doubt. make a solid comeback. And uh, guys like Keith Thurman are the ones that are going to lead the way. We sure hope so. Thank you guys again for joining us. Make sure to subscribe if you are boxing fans. We'll be covering all of the major matches heading into 2015. It's going to be a big year of boxing, guys, that's for sure. We'll see you guys in our next episode of our boxing coverage. I'm RJ for KMAC, 
Stay tuned. More importantly, everyone, just stay trippy. Mm -hmm.